Okay guys, uh, we continue our adventures at the Taco Ayana Festival. In the first two parts of the series, we went through the festival Rumble Tumble with all its gorgeous blooming flowers, traditional musicians and dancers, yummy vendors and cute young girls in their colorful flowery kimono. And now we have come to one of the major festival attractions and its true climax, a bridal board, which is traditional Japanese wedding but Itako style. The custom goes back to bygone times when Itako was an important commercial transportation hub. Due to its vast system of natural waterways as well as man-made spider network of uh, canals piercing through the city. Valuable goods uh, were routinely delivered in the boat at that time. No wonder it became customary uh, to deliver bride in the boat as well. Um, which you understand was no different from any other valuable goods. As the time passed by, the tradition was forgotten. It was revived though in our time as a means to attract more tourists to the festival and it worked. Uh, you can see now crowds of spectators uh, congregating on both banks of the river in eager anticipation of the bridal boat to appear. And here she comes together with her parents and symbolic wedding gifts uh, for the groom's family. The bridal board is accompanied by the board uh, with a band playing and singing uh, the proper tunes for the occasion. If you have seen part two of our series, you should be already familiar with this traditional band. <laughs> Uh, the bride is wearing a traditional Japanese bridal outfit, shiramuko, white silk wedding kimono with all white accessories symbolizing her purity and cleanness in heart, body and soul, as well as her readiness to accept the groom's family values and customs and become gentle and obedient wife. She also wears matching elaborate headdress, tsunokakushi, adorned with flowery design. According to anecdotal beliefs, and I'm bringing it to you for what it's worth, the big headdress is said to hide the bride's horns, e.g. premarital vices and keep away evil spirits from her pretty head. The groom meets the bride at the pier of the boathouse. The groom's wear is more contained. It's a customary formal corporate black tie dress code. Um, sorry guys, my bad. Of course, it's a, it's a gray kimono and black overcoat with the embroidered crest of the family. Unlike the bride, he doesn't wear any hat because he's not supposed to have any horns. Well, not yet. Oh,
整いましたそれでは The couple proceeds through the Irish fields to the rickshaw that takes them to the groom's house for wedding, dinner, and celebration. This slow ceremonial procession of new ads through the field of blooming rye irises is undoubtedly the most spectacular and romantic pinnacle of the entire bridal event. Make a note, it's a real wedding with real bride and groom couple, not just a stunt for the spectacle hungry foreign tourists. Any couple, even foreign, can apply for the bridal event in advance. But keep in mind though, the space is limited to only about 30 couples, so the sooner, the better. And uh, as you probably have already figured it out, uh, this is not necessarily the cheapest way to have your wedding. It carries pretty hefty price tag but it certainly might become one of the most memorable events in your married life. So if you feel like up to it, give it a try and apply. You surely won't regret it.
The bridal boat event became so important to the city that a statue of Itako Hanayame san, meaning Sweet Bride of Itako, was erected to match the 1960s J pop song with the same title. The statue, of course, is technologically advanced. Just press the magic button and the Sweet Sweet Bride will sing this sweet sweet song for you. The lyrics is very simple, as you can see. Well, in a romantic nutshell, a sweet blossoming bride of a teen who has grown up among the waters of Itaka is secretly riding a boat behind people's gossiping while dreaming about meeting her bridegroom who grew up in Tokyo. Well, basically a touching story of a sweet girl from the small provincial town who is in love with the presumably more sophisticated guy from the capital city. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching and if you like it, please give us a thumb up, hit subscribe and share. For now, from all of us at Casa Japanese, sayonara.